Hey, what is up you beautiful people? Now, I'm going to show you the last lecture, the real last lecture video. I know in my last uh, la <laughs> last video I said that was gonna be the last one, but it wasn't. We have this last part of this tutorial that we have to create to complete the series, and that is the completion progress bar. So we currently have a green bar that's 80% complete, and it's next to a gray bar that's supposed to be 100% complete. And each time we complete a task, so let's add um, some new tasks, program something wonderful. Add, 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 add. So each time we complete a task, like check mark, we want this progress bar slowly from starting at zero to go all the way up to 100% when only tasks that are all check marked are left. So if you delete something, that also makes the progress bar go green as well, unless you have zero tasks in which it will remain gray. So uh, to do that, we have to compute this property of how much of the percentage of the total number of tasks is complete. So to do that, we have to divide the uh, number of check marked tasks by the total number of tasks. So for example, if we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have five tasks completed out of six, that should be somewhere around 85 or 85 percent. I'm not, I, I haven't done, I can't do division that fast. Uh, but that's somewhere along the uh, lines of the realm of possibilities. And we, and if it's, for example, if it's uh, five total tasks and we have four complete, it should be at 80%, if we only have one complete, it should only be at 20%. So basically the, the completion bar, the completion percentage is calculated by the total number of completed tasks divided by the total number of available all available tasks. So let's create our computed property in our computed property section called percentage of tasks completed. So let's go back to our code. So we go back to our code. And here we go back to our code and at the bottom here, we have our computer property. So at the very, very, very bottom here, let's create a, a new computer property called percentage of tasks completed. And here we go function and we go if this tasks.length is equal to zero, which means it checks that if there's no tasks available created, we want to return 0% complete. So we turn zero. Else, we want to return, again, the tasks that are checkmarked divided by the total number of tasks, and we're gonna multiply it by 100, so we get a percentage from zero to 100%. So let's create um, another, um, another number, and let's say, uh, let's say this check marked tasks divided by this tasks dot length and we want to multiply this by 100 so we return this variable and if we go back up and uh, let's see okay so we go back up we turn this check marked tasks this tasks length multiplied by 100 so we have this variable here so if we go take this variable and we go back to where our tasks percentage is and our tasks percentage is um, where is our task percentage display task stats view center statistics Oh, completion progress bar. Okay, so here, instead of 80%, we want to actually, we want the percentage sign, but we want curly brackets here, and we want to output the percentage of tasks complete. So if we go back to our browser, and refresh the page, display both of these, and it's currently at 0%. So if we add a few tasks, and then we slowly check mark them, it basically goes up and up and up. So we want to actually round these numbers so we don't get a lot of decimals. So let's go back to our code. So here we're going to use a JavaScript math function. And we're going to basically say math.round and, uh, and then normal brackets. That will basically round it up to the nearest number. And we also want to do one more thing which is we want to do a vbind for the style directive. So we go style because we want 80% or 50% or 30% or however many percent of the total width of the uh, uh, variable 
of, of the style so that it, it, the green bar knows how big it need or how how wide it needs to be. So if we go back to our style, if we remember correctly, we have our width at 80% here. So we want to be able to dynamically change this. So let's go back to our variables. And here we're going to create a vbind directive for our uh, style property. So colon style for our shorthand. And we, basically we're gonna say width is equal to percentage of task completed. And now we also want to um, add a percent sign because the width, the percent of the percentage of tasks completed uh, computed properly only returns a, a number. So we add, we have to personally add the uh, uh, customize the sign button at the end. So this is, becomes a proper CSS property. So we go plus percentage, whoops, percentage sign. So now if we go back to our browser, go back to our browser, refresh the page, display task stats, and display completion task bar and it's currently at zero percent so if we add a few tasks uh, healthy food is great for programmers smiley face add a few and if we go back here and we complete a few um, it actually goes up but we want the gray bar there so something is wrong the gray bar is not displaying so uh, we have to go back to our stats and then we have to um, for our gray bar, uh, actually, this is this is wrong. We have to include this in the green style bar. So let's uh, remove this from the gray bar and let's include it back in the green style bar. So now let's go back to our file, to our browser, refresh the page, display completion tasks bar, and uh, we did something wrong here, guys. So I'm just gonna inspect uh, console and template should only be respond. Okay, so basically something is wrong here so I gotta fix this so um what's what we did wrong here that looks all right I don't know exactly what went wrong there style width so if I go back let's see if let's see if this is wrong so completion oh okay I see something is wrong there all right so here we forgot to copy this second quote so let's copy the whole quote again and then do it properly this time go back to our browser refresh the page display task completed it's currently at zero percent so now let's ask add a few tasks uh, programming is wonderful and you are a great person smiley face add a few and then let's complete a few tasks so complete 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 and let's delete the last one all right so we're all the way at 100% and metaphorically speaking we are at 100% uh, at full capacity of these of this Vue.js tutorial series so I really am glad I'm so glad I'm thankful that you joined you decided that this tutorial video was going to be worthy enough for you to purchase and for you to follow along and and choose me as your teacher and I'm so honored that you decided to choose me as your uh, teacher um, and uh, let me know if there's anything that you are unsure about inside the videos and I will try my best to answer you or even create bonus lecture videos so that I can make this video series a more complete video series. So I really want to thank you for enjoying yourself uh, in this tutorial series to all the way to come to the end of this video tutorial series and and learn a little more about VGS. So if you guys are unsure about anything, just make sure you ask in the Udemy uh, question sections and I will try my best to answer you and also provide bonus tutorial videos if required because I want to make this tutorial video great. So this was my very first Udemy course that I have ever created. And I'm so glad that you were able to choose me to be, be your, your guide towards learning something new in programming and I wish you guys have, uh, sorry guys, I wish you guys have the best possible day possible because I think programmers are doing something wonderful for the day in, day out, making this world a better place, one software, one program, one application at a time. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial series. I want you guys to have a really, really good day. Enjoy yourself to the maximum, live life to the fullest, and I'll see you guys in a future uh, course. Thanks for watching, guys.